Hello everybody and welcome back to Tom Plays Pokemon Y in the last episode. We made it to the next route after beating the Laverit. I was being the fairy gym. In this episode we're gonna be looking around, seeing what we can do. See what we can see, see what we can oh shoot. Jump cut! Alright, and we're back. Sorry, I had to leave and uh, replace the Flabebe in my party with uh Bibaral. But now he's here and he can open up paths for us like so. And I can find Protean! Not a protein froki, unfortunately, but protein nonetheless. Oh! We got some flower Pokemon. But what do? Clef key? So that's where I left my keys. Alright, I gotta be careful with this one. Don't wanna scare it, don't wanna kill it. Slash, the guitarist from Guns N' Roses. Ah! Okay. Guns N' Roses didn't work. However, what about a nice power-up punch? What did he use? Trick Room? Oh, Crafty Shield. What is the strategy of Crafty Shield? Right side so is normal amounts of damage. Foul play. That's a dark type move. Not a very dark type at all. Lefki, a dark type. Please! Faith, I'm gonna guns and roses your ass. Slash. Oh, really? Whatever. Experience points are experience points, but capture would be so much better. Oh, capture would be better, so I go switch to my Pokemon. And I surf, and I surf, and I surf to search for the time that I lost. Niels Bohr. I found a pretty wing. Pretty wing, walking down the street, pretty wing. Not too much unlike Chubby Woman. Rat. Hollow clip received, beedly beep, beedly beep. Slysander. According to Professor Sycamore's research, Mega Evolution releases all of a Pokemon's hidden energy at once. The Pokemon then exhibits a level of power it could not attain through ordinary evolution. What meaning can we draw from this? Do all people of Pokemon have such potential, or is uh, within a chosen few? Oh, snap! He's getting all philosophical on us! Also, there's another place we can rock smash right here. Smash it open, be barrel, thank you, buddy. I now have Macho Brace. Oh, uh, I wonder, but now I want to see the scary side of fairy type. I'll show you. Let's see, fairy tale girl Mah Mahalin, Mahalin. <laughs> Rat, so fat. A new surf. Da 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 is dead. Da 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 is dead. Send out aroma. Was it aromatis? Hey there, big boy. Want to get with a real woman? Ah, my makeup. This is when I do this again. Your makeup gets even worse, and you go down like a biz niche. Mahalin! Oh, the battle be ended before I got a chance to show you. Please don't eat my soul, little girl. I'm sure you're quite nice. Not at all frumpy. <laughs> Did you hear that voice too? That's why you're here, right? Uh-huh. Ah, yes! 
Next media carry sent out Litwick. What happened to like Chandlers, you know? I miss Chandlers. Not necessarily Chandler from uh actually no, I do miss Chan Chandler from Friends as well, but still. Alright, sending out Duosion. Which is uh, a little baby thing. It's, it's a basically a fetus. It's a fetid fetus. Oh no! Jock gained experience points and is now level 47. Now level 47! Oh, forget this whole Hex Maniac act. <laughs> oh god, it's great. Just like, screw this, I'm out of here. Alright, so. Huh. Ah. There's something up here. I didn't think there was a point at first, but then there was. I can't resist the call of an item. Item, 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 item. Thank you, Vio, for the capture power level two. Oh god, it's so close, but I'm getting no other signals from it. And it's a, uh, <laughs> its eyes look so derpy. It's a poniard. I rap poniard. Hope I don't kill it. I killed it. Should you smack down? That probably wouldn't have killed it. But butts, 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 butts. It's probably up on the cliff. Yeah, it's up on the cliff. Well, shoot! I just wasted all that time for nothing. Try to catch a ponya. Thank you for the description of acquaintances that I already knew about. Let's head down to the creepiest of basements. <laughs> There's even music playing that fits creepily. I came here because I heard that there was some great there's some great roller skater, but it seems like my skills as a roller skater aren't quite up to snuff. Huh? I ain't holding back just because you're a punk you're a kid, you little punk. Maybe I came to the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> punk guy Sid. Does he have beetle boots? Nobody has something that represents a gangster stereotype. Meanwhile, I've got a giant Brontosaurus. He's like, yeah, whatever, man. And I'm just like, Arr -arr -arr. Hi, J oh, shoot. Oh, Sebastian. Maxi. All right, we'll send out the Toro for this one. All right, time for the fly and press. If Del Toro ever wakes up, I'll use the flat and press. I'm hoping one of these days the high jump kick will miss. It'll take away half his health. It'll take away half his health. It'll take away half his health. It's gonna try and crunch me. Won't do as much as he thought it would. Still not waking up. Come on, wake up. Do the flat and press time. Chip away. He's chipping away at me. Wake up, you fucking fool. You're about to die. You're about to die. Don't ask me why, but you're about to die. And the scratch goes down. Yeah! Del Toro! Ponyad! No problem. Because Del Toro knows the secrets of the high jump kick. And Ponyad goes down like a sack of bricks. Sharpedo? No, thank you. I will not change. Especially not for some punk shark who cannot withstand the power of my flying press. A ba boom Oh, sure, you've got rough skin, but what else do you got? You're a shark. That means you have soulless eyes. You have no soul. Ah, blast it all. What's the deal? Kids aren't supposed to be this strong. It's probably going to take all my money from me. Oh, Russ. Touch my butt. All right, let's see. Let's, uh, do I have any regular revives? Nope, just the max one. Good enough. I need Sebastian to full powers anyway. 
Sebastian, you... You've recovered from your faint. Thank you, Erica, for the experience point level bonus level one. It's a trash can. Thank you. I thought you were going to look inside of it, but no, you're just like, it's a trash can. Banned in the boat without a care in the world. That's us, all right. Rebel against everything. That's us, all That's us, all right. Down with the man, man. Is that why you guys are in a burnt down old hotel? Saying, uh, Pangoro and Gaivoder. Panda Baba. So what I'm gonna do here is have Sebastian make a hasty retreat. So that way, Jacques can come out. I will mega evolve. And I will use the glass pledge on Pangoro. And out comes Jacques! Venusaur right is reacting to the mega ring. Venusaur! Evolved into Mega Venusaur. Toxic on. Oh no! Badly poisoned! What did it use? What did it use? God damn it. Now Sebastian's back out. Great. Whatever. You know what? Oh, that attacks people at random, that's why. Ah, I'll take down Pangoro. Ah! You do not take down the mob boss like that. Yeah, Sebastian grew to level 47. Craig grew to level 48. Jacques didn't do anything. Alright. And now let's do the avalanche. Gaboda didn't take much damage. But then again, how can you when you smell like that? Gonna double edge Gaboda. Gonna hopefully get this odor. Musky, musky odor off. Greg took a bit of damage, but it wasn't he couldn't handle. I'm riding around here on a bicycle. I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. Rowan's words echo through your mind. No! It's not the right time. Alright, so let's get Sebastian up there first. Oh, I think someone gave me an O power, but I missed it. What do we got here? We have... Litwick! Hello, little Litwick! I could actually catch this thing, couldn't I? Let's give it an avalanche. Not the hex! No, not the hex! You're so cute, Litwick. Why would you do something like that to me? Not very effective, huh? Well, it seems you do a lot of damage, if you know what I'm saying. Let's try the Pokeball. Bad idea, worst idea, terrible idea, Pokeball. One, two, three. Bada bang, Doodle King. Litwick was caught. All right. What do we have? Litwick, the candle Pokemon. Litwick shines a light that absorbs the life energy of people and Pokemon, which becomes the fuel that it burns. Give a nickname to Litwick. Let's name you... How about Windy? For some reason, I feel like that'd be a good name for a candle. Alright, so... Next time on Tom Plays Pokemon Y, we are going to be continuing throughout this weird and wretched labyrinth. See you all then!